Hello everybody and welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to be talking about the leakage Linux box from CyberSec Labs. So when we do an NMAP scan we'll notice that port 22 is open which is SSH. We have HTTP on port 80 and port 8060. And then we also have an unknown service at port 9094. So the first port that's interesting is port 80 here. So let's start looking at that. So if you go to the IP in our browser, we'll see that we have this GitLab page, so we can register for, for an account. So let's say pink rack, copy that, at like.com, copy that, and pick an account. And we can register. And that's gonna put us in the GitLab environment. And here we can maybe explore projects. And we'll notice that Jonathan has a couple of projects here. So you can start looking at all of these. So let's look at CMS. And we see, okay, this has 15 commits. So we can look at the commits. And we'll see here he updated index.php, here he updated config.php. So that might be interesting. Uh, two, two updates to config.php. So let's look at the config file because config files are obviously interesting because there might be, such as is the case here, credentials in there. So here's an SQL login for Jonathan with this password. Now, password reusage is a thing, so maybe Jonathan has also used this password for SSH, for GitLab, for who knows what. So let's take a look at that. So I copied the password. Now if I log in as Jonathan with that password, we can see that that works. And now we have access to a new, uh, a private project here, security. If you look at the security project, we can see that it has an ID underscore RSA file. And that is a private key, private RSA key. And maybe his public RSA key is set in the authorized keys file on SSH and we can use this to log in. So let's put this key into a file. So we're gonna paste that in and then exit that. We're gonna give this key file the correct permissions, which is 600. And then we're gonna see if we can SSH in with this file. That's not the file, this is the file and Jonathan at, and then the IP. Uh, so we need to get a passphrase for this private key. So how can we do that? Well, we can do that with SSH to John. So let's see where I have this Python script. We can run that on our private key. That's gonna give us a hash. We'll put that in a hash file, and then we can run John dash dash word list equals, and we're gonna use RockQ for this, so that's user share word lists rockq.txt and then the hash. So that's gonna run and hopefully crack the hash and it has cracked the hash and the hash is uh, the, it's Scooby, the password is Scooby. So now if we SSH again, we can see if Scooby works. So enter the passphrase Scooby and there we go. We have access to uh, Jonathan here. Now I've already uploaded Linpiece to the box earlier, but we can do that again together. So what we're going to use to upload it is as copy. So we're going to as copy with our uh, private key here. We're then going to supply the file we want to as copy, which is uh, linpiece. So that's located here in linpiece.sh. And then we got to say Jonathan at and then the IP. Followed by a colon, which is going to say, OK, upload it in the home directory. We have to answer the password again and that is uploading. That's finished uploading. So now we also have the file again here. Um, now we can run this file. So we can run limpiece.sh. That's going to start running. So first thing we notice, we are part of the LXD group, which is something that might be exploitable. Uh, oh, there was a lot, a lot of output. The pseudo version has some kind of vulnerability here that you might want to look into. Um, and I always suggest going through the whole Linpiece output because there might be a very low hanging branch and you don't want to waste time on, on stuff that you're not that that where there's easier solutions, right? Although it's definitely not bad for you to spend time on some other stuff and, and, and learn. But for the case of this video, we're going to keep on looking. So here we have information about we see there's a lot of ports open internally. So that's definitely strange. The users. 
and we can keep going here we see well it found an SSH key but that's our SSH key here and then if we keep going we'll see that under suit so suid we see that bin slash nano is here now why is that a thing well let's take a look at this file here we can see that it has this s bit set and that's the set uid uh, bit which means that if we run slash by bin slash nano we will run this as root so what can we do for example we can run uh, slash bin slash nano on um, at c slash pass wd uh, and that did not work because we didn't specify s uh, slash at c pass wd and that will work and now we see okay Oh, I didn't want to do pass wd, I didn't want to do, I wanted to do uh, shadow, of course, to get the hashes. So here we already have a hash for root and a hash for Jonathan, but um, maybe we can try to um, see if there's a SSH folder for root, and if we can upload our uh, private, uh, our public key to root.ssh uh, authorized underscore keys. Okay, and we seem like we can create that file, so let's cat our own key then. Let's copy this. And then we can put it for the root and see if we can uh, get a shell in SSH session as root. So we're going to paste that in, save that, and now we can go into a different window here and see if we can SSH with that private key that we also used, though not that one, <laughs> with this one that we also used for Jonathan, but this time as root, and we don't have to specify root here because that's uh, used by default. It's going to ask us for the passphrase, which was Scooby, and as you can see, we currently have a shell as root. So that was this box. Um, things to note here is always look at commits in repositories because people often commit stuff that they don't really want to. Um, so that's the thing you should always watch for. Uh, also, a good box to get practice with uh, private keys, SSH, uh, and how these SSH keys work. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, leave them below in the comments, and I will see you back for another video. Take care.